we're really having a hard time uh, trying to figure out is why anyone would want to shoot the video that we're about to show you. It's actually of adults forcing two little girls to fight while they stand there and videotape the whole thing. Well, we're going to show you uh, most of it here, the taunting, the fighting, the crying, even the pleading to stop, and then we'll talk about it. Just slap her! Go ahead, Puno! Just slap her! Go ahead, Puno. Slap her harder. Puno don't hit hard! Do you? Do you? Go punch her! You want to do you? Just do it! Rack her! Rack her! Yeah! Rack her! You the follow up! Yeah! You the follow up! Yeah! Puno! 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 New York police are now looking for these adults who shot this disgusting video and posted it on YouTube. You know, Dr. Drew, all I can think of is these, these parents or these adults, we still don't even know if they're parents, they're twisted. And the little girl's saying, I don't want to go to jail. I like this girl. I don't want to hit this other girl. You guys, a, parenting in this country is not healthy a lot of the times. And it, it's violent, it's aggressive, it's broken. This doesn't surprise me at all. It's not as though this is commonplace. It's not uncommon, unfortunately. And as you say, Kira, it, it will have legal consequences, and we need to take them. There are people watching this show right now that think that that video is funny, and they would defend those parents' behavior. And we've got a problem in a country where any parent would believe as such. Mike, you were a cop. I mean, this is child oh. endangerment. Absolutely. That's when you get somebody said, what charges? That's the first thing that came to mind. Now, we don't know, again, if these are the parents, but these are adults. And you hear that little girl, I'll go to jail. She knows right from wrong. The adults are supposed to know right from wrong. But they're the ones encouraging this. And I hope the New York police do find who was involved in this. And I hope that those women do go to jail. It might do them a little good. You know what's sad, Mary, is this is nothing new. That's what I think. Playgrounds are prison yards. I mean, they really are. Mm. These kids get wild. They've always been wild. And here's what's different. Now we're catching it on video. So now we're seeing it because people get excited about it. I have a seven-year-old. I watch a YouTube video and he'll, he'll say, how many hits are on there? How many likes on Facebook? This is seven years old. So this is the culture we're, de we're dealing with. I don't necessarily mm -hmm. think this is a new thing. Maybe this is extremely harsh. Drew, I mean, t talk about a reflection on parents because the little girl is clearly saying, I don't don't want to do this and the adult is saying fight fight yeah I mean there's no one in this panel that disagrees with how inappropriate this is but Mara is right this is the culture we live in right now we live in a culture of narcissism and a culture of violence and people think that this kind of behavior is not just okay but either entertaining or funny or appropriate and you're right the schoolyard is like a prison yard that's on a good day without the parents there. Yeah. We well, add the parents to the mix, and now you see how sick the thing is. Well, and the worst part is it's not the only video. I mean, there's dozens out there, especially if you go on YouTube. Yeah. Uh, this one, we talked about it here at HLN. It happened in Atlanta. Two parents actually drove their daughter uh, to a fight uh, to meet the rival. It was actually organized, and they were hurling insults at each other as the girls brawled. Uh, and just last week, a co-worker of mine here at HLN, I'm just going to refer to his mom, came up to me and said, Kira, do you know about the, these fights that are being recorded? And she's calling in. I know you're off today, and I just want you to call in and weigh on this because you're a mom. The school actually left a recording on your phone warning about this trend. Right, Mom? Yes, they did. Tell me what it I said. Got, I got a message uh, on my phone that the kids are forming a 30 to 35-second fight and other kids are recording it and to try to check my child's phone and iPod to see if, if my child had recorded it. And she hadn't recorded it, but you did talk to your dear daughter about it as a parent. What did you tell her and what did she say to you? I asked her if she'd seen it and she said no. And I asked her if someone asked you to do this, what would you do? And she said no. 
that it was stupid and that uh, what she's heard about it was little boys doing it and that little boys were stupid. Well, you have raised your daughter uh, very well thus far, and it's also a pleasure to work with you. I thank you for just personalizing this uh, mm -hmm. for us. And, and Drew, thanks. You're staying with us throughout the hour. Mara, Mike, you as well. The NYPD is urging anyone with information now on this case to call their tip line at 1-800-577-TIPS. Call New York police if you know the three adults that videotaped that, those two girls fighting.